Yes, sir. My name is Bobby Rader. I'm the sheriff in Liberty County. And today we suffered a loss of a hero with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Richard Witten had a heart attack during therapy today and he was not able to be revived and he passed away. And so I'm here with Chief Avedo and all the brothers and sisters, the family from Liberty County and we mourn his loss, we ask for prayers. Just Friday I received a mail in the mail a letter from the Hunter Club and Deputy Witt was named Officer of the Year and he will not be able to be present to get that award. And that really hurts because he was a good man. The man that everybody loved, he kept in his patrol car, I was telling the chief, he kept dog food and cat food and food for people and he helped the stray dogs and cats and helped all the people that were homeless. I mean, he was just a very, very good man. It is a very tragic loss for Liberty County Sheriff's Office and all law enforcement. He had been there for four years, is that correct? Yes, sir, he had been the deputy in Liberty County for four years. He started late in life. He, I believe, sold truck parts and things and he finally talked his wife into fulfilling his dream, letting him be an officer and he came to Liberty County and like I said, he was an asset. He was an awesome person. Otherwise, was he improving? Oh, yes, sir. During the therapy here at Tier, they were doing amazing things. He is making big improvements. And uh, we had deputies, and Sergeant Cohen's here was a sergeant. Uh, talked to him on a regular basis, and he was improving in good spirit some days. And uh, we really is a shock that this happened today. We were not expecting that. Have you, have you spoken to him recently? Uh, actually, I left a voicemail for him today to tell him he had gotten Officer of the Year and it went to voicemail. I did not speak to him recently. Sergeant Cohen got a text from him, uh, I believe yesterday, and I think they talked to him this weekend. Sheriff, you mentioned the, the, no one expected this. Can you give us a sense as to how, we, how his wife is doing tonight? And his, 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 wife, his wife is taking it very hard. And if I have one request. If everybody out there just remember the family and their prayers, it would be just great. Uh, she is taking it hard because it was not expected. Sure. You consider this a line of duty death? Yes, ma'am. It's a line of duty death. And why is that? Tell us why. Deputy Witten was on his way to a class there in Dayton, Texas from Cleveland, and he was in his patrol car and a call came on that there was a shooting there in Cleveland. Uh, the shooting happened to take the lives of a couple of people. He happened to spot the vehicle and pursued the vehicle and the uh, Defendant bailed out of his car and started shooting and shot Deputy Witt and went in his neck, hit his spine, and that's what caused his problem. But even so many months later, um, because of, I mean, it was because of that shooting, and that's the reason why it's still... Yes, sir. Alive. He's... Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, he's on the way to the medical examiner's office after we speak here, and an autopsy will be performed, and I don't know, as you know, what that would be. What does it mean to have officers from other agencies? Well, yes, sir. Coming from a small agency, and I, I say Liberty County is a small agency, and the chief and uh, Chief Benner, all everybody has been more than more than helpful. I mean, I'm amazed at the contacts, and like they said, we're all family, and so they help us out a bunch. They they helped us out the day that Deputy Whitten was shot at the hospital. They provided people to help sit with the family. I mean, they food. I mean, it's just way beyond measure what they've done, and I I really appreciate the chief and all his people. What I think. Well, personally, what will you miss most about Deputy? I, I miss Deputy Witten's personality. You know, after he was shot, I, I talked to him and he's told this to several people. I've got his good friend, Officer Moore, somewhere around here, right behind me. He's taller than me, so you should be able to see him. But uh, Richard Witten would tell you when you talked to him, he said, You know, it was tragic what happened to me, but if I had to do it again, I'd do the same thing. And so he was a true hero. He, he gave his heart, he gave his life. Uh, he was an awesome, awesome deputy. Did you want to say anything? I, I didn't know you Mr. Moore, would you like to say something, sir? Um, yeah, I've known Richard now for 11 years. He's my best friend. Um, we spoke just about every single day in those 11 years. Believe me, when I say we spoke almost every single day, we spoke almost every single day. Um, it, it just unbelievable, you know, 
the loss of this particular man. Not only a deputy, a good deputy, great deputy, but a great man, great individual. Loved his family, loved his country, and he sure did love the department too. And um, it's just a tragic loss, and I'll never be able to replace him. He's my best friend. What was your name? My name is Richard Moore. Are you from, what department are you with? I work for Humble, Humble PD, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The funeral arrangements have not been made. Tomorrow, when the autopsy is complete, he will be escorted by Liberty County Sheriff's Office back to Cleveland to the Neal Funeral Home up there that will do the services. Services are pending. We don't have any of that information at this time.